A video showing B-2 stealth bomber dropping massive precision guidance bunker buster bombs has been posted from B-2 Spirit official Twitter account. Whiteman Air Force Base stated in a tweet sharing the footage taken by a USAF stealth bomber pilot, B-2 dropping GBU-57, Massive Ordnance Penetrators MOP. Each weapon weighs 30,000 pounds with pinpoint accuracy and holds deeply buried targets at risk. The stealth bomber is pictured flying in an undisclosed location and dropping the bomb. Viewers can check the video from the link in the description section. The timing is significant as Iran and the U.S. are in the middle of heated standoff and at this point the U.S. is moving forces to the Persian Gulf. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why even a single B-2 could be enough to take out Iran's military. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Trump administration has taken a hardline policy against Iran, especially if compared to the Obama administration. President Trump withdrew from a nuclear deal that world powers had reached with Iran in 2015. Apart from military assets like USS Abraham Lincoln Aircraft Carrier Strike Group and Patriot Air Defense Batteries, the U.S. now has decided to send troops. President Donald Trump had said on Friday that the U.S. is sending 1,500 more troops to bolster the American forces in the region. Iran's foreign minister has warned that deployment of more troops to the Middle East is highly dangerous. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Jihad Zarif told state news agency INRA, The U.S. move to increase its military presence in our region is highly dangerous and a threat against international peace and security. All in all, it can be said that the simmering tension between the two countries is heading to a possible showdown. The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the United States Air Force's USAF vital penetration missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy their ordnance, which could include nuclear weapons. B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. The blending of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload gives the B-2 significant advantages over previous bombers. Stealth capability provides greater freedom of action as the bomber can evade enemy air defenses. As of today, no country has a bomber like the B-2 Spirit. Currently only Russia may have the radar technology to detect B-2, though the effectiveness in real-life scenario is suspect. B-2 Spirit has a maximum speed of Mach 0.95. The U.S. Air Force reports B-2's range as approximately 6,900 miles or 11,000 kilometers. B-2 has an excellent payload, which makes even a single one to be extremely destructive. It has two internal bays for ordnance and payload with an official limit of 40,000 pounds that's 18,000 kilograms, and maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds or 23,000 kilograms. So it can have different weapons configuration, which is noted as follows. 1. 80 500-pound class bombs like Mark 82 or GBU-38 2. 36 750-pound CBU class bombs 3. 16 2,000-pound class bombs like Mark 84 or GBU-31 4. AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon JSOW, and AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASSM. 5. 2 GBU 57 AB Massive Ordnance Penetrator can be carried. Its payload enables it to carry not only a huge amount of conventional bombs but also nukes, 
Each B-2 can carry 16 B-61 or B-83 nuclear bombs on Rotary Launcher Assembly RLA. The B-61 nuclear bomb is the primary thermonuclear gravity bomb in the U.S. cache. It is a low to intermediate yield strategic and tactical nuclear weapon featuring a two-stage radiation implosion design. The weapon is 3.56 meters that's 11 feet 8 inches long with a diameter of about 13 inches. Its basic weight is about 320 kilograms or 700 pounds, although the weights of individual weapons may vary depending on version and fuse retardation configuration. The B-61 is a variable yield kiloton range weapon. Tactical versions, mods 3, 4, and 10 can be set to 0.3, 1.5, 5, 10, 45, 60, 80, or 170 kilotons explosive yield. The strategic version, B61 Mod 7, has four yield options with a maximum of 340 kilotons. The B83 thermonuclear weapon is a variable yield gravity bomb developed by the United States in the late 1970s entering service in 1983. The bomb is 3.7 meters, that's 12 feet long, with a diameter of 18 inches. The bomb weighs approximately 1,100 kilograms or 2,400 pounds. With a maximum yield of 1.2 megatons of TNT, it's the most powerful free-fall nuclear weapon in the United States arsenal. To give viewers a perspective, here's a comparison. Trinity test in New Mexico in July 1945 which led the world into the nuclear age, had a yield of 20 kilotons. Hiroshima's little boy bomb had a yield of 13 to 18 kilotons, whereas Nagasaki's Fat Man bomb had a yield of 20 to 22 kilotons of TNT. Iran has several air defense systems. The most potent of these is the S-300. Iran is thought to possess four batteries each of S-300P and S-300 PMU-2, but these are far too less when we consider that Iran has a pretty big landmass to protect. In a mission like this, B-2 could also be escorted by F-22 Raptor. F-22 is far more capable than any fighter jet Iran possesses and will be able to knock down any Iranian fighter jet that may try to intercept the B-2. Keeping this in view, B-2 Spirit will be able to penetrate deep and strike without much hindrance. And when even one of these gets through, the destructive power is enough to bring Iran's military to its knees in no time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.